Good evening. And it's been a week since I streamed because I had things going on um, between uh, Shana's spring break week, me getting a major allergy attack in the middle and holidays. Speaking of which, I don't want to assume your religion. So, so I'm just going to say happy spring holiday weekend. That should cover all the bases. Anyway, it's a bit later than I was playing start. I got a little sidetracked tonight. So let's go ahead and get started. Today we are going to continue my Lego Architecture City series. This will be the fifth of 13 cities. And today we are going to do uh, Dubai, which is the only Middle Eastern city in the line. Um, Middle East, I think that's where it is. Um, so this is what the set looks like. It looks like we have four, four sites in Dubai that we're building. And if we finish in under an hour and a half, I'll go ahead and uh, do a second city as well because I'm getting behind on the series. I want to finish this by early summer. This is only the fifth, and there's 13 of these to do. At the crossroads of Europe, Asia, and Africa, it's traditional Arabian culture and f futuristic metropolis. Um, okay, so it is kind of in the Middle East. So we have the Jumeirah Emirates Towers. The Dubai Frame. Um, that's kind of interesting. They just built a giant photo frame, it looks like. <laughs> The Dubai Fountain. Where was that in the picture? Okay, so I don't even see where that is in the picture. It's probably in front of something else. So that's the Dubai Fountain. Um, so that's got to be somewhere in the base of the model, I guess. The Burj Khalifa. It's the tallest building in the world. This building reminds me of something out of a Coruscant, the Planet City. The city planet uh, from Star Wars. I've always liked this building because it reminded me of that. And the Burj Al Arab. So those are the four things that are going to be on this model. And it looks like this particular model goes bags. Um, I'm not used to seeing the city series go bags, but We'll, we'll save where we feel it's necessary. Um, so bag one is going to be the base. Let's go ahead and let me switch the view over to the studio. I already have, I already have the uh, palette loaded up that we need. So let's get right into it. So let's get. Okay. All right. So we have our empty site where we're going to build the city of Dubai. And bear with my sniffles um, getting over a major allergy attack from earlier this week. So we're going to start by placing this first little piece of the base. I'm not going to talk too much, probably. We're starting later than I wanted. So um, I want to focus on doing this. Plus, um, And then some more of these. And these I should be able to just slide in. And then these two. Because you'll remember the classy black base that all the architecture sets have. So all this white is going to be covered up with black, I do believe. All 
right, so now we got to fill in these gaps real quick. And what were those building names again? I'm not as familiar with the city as the others that we did. Uh, all right, I think I got it. All right, yeah, here we go. This is where we start. This is where we uh, give the uh, classy uh, black frame. It looks like on this set, the frame is only the front side, but still, it's a good way, still keeping with the tradition of making the, uh, the title area classy. It is a hundred page of pages of instructions, which makes it a little more than most of the cities we've encountered so far. Well, actually about the same as the cities we've encountered so far. So we're just going to keep speeding through and we've got our little title plate for the city now. And let's come under here. All right, what's going on here? We need some, there's some black plates going on that we have to line up with what we've already built here. And now it looks like we're going to start building in some depth so that we have room for all the beautiful structures we're going to build onto here. You know, pretty standard architecture base plate uh, setup. <laughs> It'll be interesting to see which uh, non-standard build techniques they go with for this set. I mean, considering that the tallest building in the world is part of this one. So we're going to keep running, running smoothly here. So we have some more plates. We're still building the base section. It's good to be back to streaming. Uh, after being away a whole week. I wasn't planning on being away a whole week. So there's two studs between it should be. I hope I lined that up correctly. I hope I lined that up correctly. And we're going to keep laying the groundwork. I'm hoping to be able to stream again tomorrow to make up for some lost time. I'm so close to a milestone episode, but I'm, I've just been informed that, uh, we might be doing something for the holiday tomorrow, so 
I don't know what's going on. If I stream, I'm going to try and stream something other than Legos because there hasn't really been much variety on my channel lately. That's not the piece I want. This is the piece I want. And now I want this other piece. That's interesting. Um, that's pretty cool, the shape that we're building here. OK. So the base has an interesting shape, and we can start to see how the city is going to go. And it looks like we start laying down the uh, pieces for the desert sands going on. You know what? Let me do some of this, <laughs> some of these other pieces first. I want to make sure we line everything up correctly. All right, I think that's lined up correctly. We will find out when we start laying the other pieces. Let's bring in some tiles. Let me zoom in a little bit on the section I'm working on. We also have the laundry machine going right now, so if you hear banging, that's what that is. I think that's correctly placed. If the laundry banks too much, I'm going to mute for a little bit. But it's been fine mostly recently, so I shouldn't have to do that. All right, and then I need some of this tile. And then I need that goes there. This one goes here, and I need these ones with the pegs. All right, there goes there goes that step. Hmm, interesting. This I'm gonna build. It says to do it as a as a sectional, but I'm gonna build this right onto the unit because it starts from the bottom and is straightforward. And I need some tiles. Wrong color. Colors do matter on these things. We've already got a good start on this, I think. Ah, metallic pieces. Okay. Um, now it's going on. Now we're going to come over here.
So yeah, it looks like where you go, it looks like this color is to represent the uh, desert sands that surround the Arabian area where the city of Dubai is located. Vegas did a similar thing with its base. <clears throat> Excuse me. Did I mention I'm getting over being sick? That's part of the reason why stream has been so quiet this week. It looks like all these, uh, it looks like this structure is also going to use these uh, pins at the base. So it's so it's interesting to see that because um, not all the building connections on architecture. In fact, that's we haven't seen a lot of that in the city series. That is not the piece I want. There's a specialty piece somewhere, then I guess. That's the piece I want to put there. And then over here, on this edge of it, it looks like we put in some waters that represent tile. But there's one more of these, which I think goes right there. And then let's come here. And that goes there. And then we come here. And this one goes here. And then let's come here, grab this tile. And then we have to put in some water. Uh, It's all, I always find it a little difficult to work with these uh, translucent tiles because a lot of the translucent shades, you can barely see them against what you're already doing. They come out nice in the render though. And now we have some water for the building on this edge. And it looks like we're going to start building a structure directly onto the base. In most of the architecture cities we've done so far, a lot of the pieces have been, a lot of the buildings have been uh, side builds that we then attach to the base. But, all right, and it looks like this one's not actually going straight. I need to turn this first, it looks like. 45 degrees, so it lines up with the picture. And where's the connection point for this? What's it centered on? I can't tell what it, shoot. Okay. Maybe it's supposed to use that. All right. Let's try, <coughs> let's try the magic connection tool and see if I figured this out.
What if it is at this spot? Let's see. That's too far ahead. All right. Let's try instead this spot. That's actually a click off. Let me put the rest of this bit in and then we'll see if it lines up with the picture. All right, um, so let's orient. Um, yeah, with that in place, yeah, it looks like the picture now. We positioned it correctly, even though the instructions were unclear. So let's move on. All right, that looks like it's going to be the base of one of the buildings. What am I missing? Oh, we need some of these. I think we're making good time. We're about 20 minutes into stream now. And we're already past the base plate. Okay, what's going on here? These two I am going to do as side builds just because it looks like not side builds, sub builds. There's a distinction. Why do I why do I keep saying one when I mean the other? some of these to go around. All right, and we need it to line up with that. It should have just snapped too, but I don't know why it's not. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this piece into position and hopefully these will snap onto that piece. That did a thing. And we're off the base plate, so let's see if we can fix that by turning this a little bit. No, we're, we can't. So if we're slightly tiny bit off, what does it matter? All right, that piece is on. But now I need to be able to put this piece here. Yeah, this whole section. 
from the plane up is off. Great, now we have to backtrack this whole section. All right, let's see if I can piece this section back together off-grid real quick while I try and figure out a way to make this work correctly. All right, that section has been off. Let's, let's line up this section the way it is in the picture. And then I'll bring that other section back, and hopefully we can position it correct. It looked like the picture, but I must have been looking from the picture from the incorrect angle. So, so let's try this. Okay, now we need this section to line up on that, so... Let's try a few different things until we find a hit. Um, yeah, this bit's going to slow us down a little bit. Unfortunately, there's nothing I can do about that because we need to, the model only works if everything is placed correctly. And that was not the right connection point. What about this one? Definitely not the right connection point. Is that the one? Too far over. This is where we were originally, I think. Nope, that's not the one. It would be one of these edge case ones, I think, because we need that part to line up with that part. So yeah, it's not that one. Probably something along that axis. Uh, mouse decided to misinterpret my click again. That one's close enough to the picture, I think. Let me see here. Let's take this off for a minute. That one's close enough to the picture, and I don't want to waste any more time on this. So, uh... This is supposed to be at some kind of angle, though.
Let's turn collision off for a minute so we can line this up. Laundry's banging a bit, so I'm going to mute for a bit. Okay, that's as close as I can get to everything lining up. We need to move on. There's going to be a little bit of a collision warning, but they're pretty much uh, in position as best as going to be. So now we need some wheel pieces for, looks like, to make up the, the base of this next tower thing. <gasps> I don't know how wheels make up the base of the tower, but this is what the instructions say to do. So, And this is where the instructions go into bag two of three. So we're going to go ahead and do a quick save. 21052. And this we're starting off to the side. So let's Yeah, let's make up for a little bit of lost time. We lost a bit of time working on that base little section over there. So let's base judging by the picture, I think we're doing the Emirates Towers right now. So we're gonna start to uh, see we're going to start to see the uh, structures come together now. If the laundry bangs again, then I'll just mute again. Um, sorry you had to hear that because I was slow to react.
So there will be eight more cities to do after this. Uh, that I want to I want to try and get this particular series done by summer if I can. No guarantee, but I'll do my best. That's the one by eight. I need the, uh, yeah, that is what I needed, actually. I thought I needed one by six, but there isn't even any in, the, in this color in the toolbox. So, yeah. When in doubt, look in the toolbox. Because if the piece you think you need is missing, it means you're incorrect about the piece you want. Okay, I can't, I really can't tell which is the piece it wants for this. There's two bar, I, bars of an identical color, but judging on the picture, I think this is the length it wants. <laughs> if I'm wrong, we can always swap them out later. Assuming it's not an invisible part of the build. I forgot I had to put one of these in there. And then I need one of these. And now it looks like time for some more detailing bits. This, t this tower is, looks like it's coming together quickly. And then it's got a cousin tower, right? It's got, or a sister tower that we got to build as well. Oof. One of these non attached things. Let's hope I can line, let's hope it lets me line it up. This is another thing that architecture likes to do sometimes, is sections that aren't technically attached but held in place through a non-standard building technique. Let's see, can we get this to slide in appropriately? We cannot. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to do our best 
with a positioning system to line it up. All right, looks like it's not going to be too hard lining this one up, but I still don't like doing this. Okay, so that part lined up okay. I hate, I hate when I have to manually line things up like that because of uh, <coughs> non-standard building techniques. It's still a cool technique, but it made things overly complicated for what we're trying to do here. I will say they did pick a pretty assortment of buildings for Dubai, even if some of the build techniques are a little frustrating. And now this little bit holds the other bit. In, in physical Lego, this little bit here presents the, prevents the other bit from sliding out. The Jumeirah Emirate Towers. Um, okay, uh, so that's what this is called. The Jumeirah Emirate Towers. We need a tile. And some slope pieces here. Uh, this I'd better build off. Looks like there's some it doesn't build directly from the ground up here, or it doesn't attach directly from the ground up is what I meant to say. Actually, this tower we built from the top down, technically. Interesting. All right, so now we take this whole unit. Where's the connection point? The connection point is that hole on the bottom. So let's push it into the peg. We're flush with the ground here. So this little bit we built here looks like it might be like an entrance gate to the towers. I don't really know how they have it 
everything set up over there. There's a slight angle going on. Oh, we're not supposed to be going on encroaching into the other section. We're not supposed to go over the line with that tile, it looks like. All right. So we're going to leave that tower there. And we have the beginnings of our little Dubai. And what's going on over here with our wheels? Let's fix these real quick. Nothing we can do about that other section. But this one for sure we can have fixed. I'm not sure if the... Can this be lowered? Nope. Not without breaking things. But these are supposed to be flush with those. So let me try something real quick. I need these to line up. Um, uh, looks like another manual adjust. All right, no more collision. Yeah, they're exactly the same on both sides. For now, I'm going to leave it there. I'll adjust it again if I need to later. Let's go ahead and build the second uh, Jumeirah Tower.
All right. Knowing what I know about the laundry cycle, it's probably going to bang one more time before the load finishes. But that one tends to be a little bit of an extended cycle that goes on for a few minutes. We're going to keep working around it. Looks like this tower is doing the exact same thing. And the only reason it didn't just have us do this twice with a times two, I guess, is because they're they're a different height. With collision turned on, maybe that might help us uh, line it up a little more efficiently this time, though. There's no way around it. We got to do that mess again. Actually, there might be a clever way to fix this. What if I... What if I swap out the round tile for a round plate? Will it attach to the previous slopes? No, they do not line up like that, which is why we had to do the tile piece. Okay. All right. Here we go again, then. Judging on appearances, crud. I don't want to deselect it because then the whole section, because there's multiple parts selected, some of which will disappear into the framework if I let it deselect. So it looks like on one axis we're correct. So we need to move it the other two axes. Okay, that looks approximately correct. That looks correct on that axis. That's as good as it's going to be. No collision means we lined it up correctly. Now let's keep building here. Because we knew what to expect with this tower, it went together a lot quicker than the first one.
Okay, this one I should be able to just tack on to the bottom. No, I can't. Okay. It was worth a try. Now I can tack it on to the bottom. And now this tower is ready to go onto the base. Let's line it up correctly though. And it needs to be it needs some rotation it looks like. Rotate the other one at 15 degrees, so that's what we should do this one at. And we pop it onto the base. So we'll have the same issue as we have with that base section on the other side, in that it it's going to claim a clash with the with this other section, even though they're really just touching very closely. It looks like, yeah, we're going to leave that as is. The, the Jumeirah to Emirates Towers are now in place. That's a pretty pair of structures, I will admit. We'll, all right, we got through that section. Let's move on. It looks like we're doing the Dubai frame now. This is another one it wants us to have at a tilt. And then let's uh, get some tile detailing going on this thing. And then we need the uh, door frame piece, which is in shiny gold. And a couple tiles up here. And then this whole unit will drop onto this base section here. If it stops dancing and lets me place it, it will drop in, I mean. Let's try let's try doing this one the easy way if it will let me. Nope. Okay. So let's just drop it in and then rotate the section. All right, the Dubai frame is in. That was easy compared to what came before. So now we're moving on to <coughs> Oh, we need to put some we need to put a few uh desert plants around here first. All right, the desert plants are in. And now it looks like we're building a little bit of a fountain. We're working right here. There's our trans blue for the water.
Here's some clear water pieces. And then, like Vegas, which we built on here previously, uh, Dubai is known for its fountains. And we're building one of them right now, it looks like. And now we get to move on to the Burj Al Arab Tower. What's the difference between that and this? Oh, yeah, that's what the difference is. They're actually di whole different pieces. And actually, let's give this tower some room to grow. And then I need, uh, ouch, those are hard to work with, not that hard to work with, but these need to go in. It looks like those are at a slight angle. Um, let me see if I can guess the angle. I hope I'm guessing correctly the first time because the pictures aren't always clear when it comes to angle positioning. Looks like there's a lot of these pieces. We'll just build under. We'll build down from here in order to save a little bit of time. And now we're using clear pieces that represent windows instead of water. And we get to play with those bar pieces again. You know what? We're doing this. Thing. It looks like my little idea didn't work to say. I thought we could save a minute that way, but we, we couldn't. So I guess we're just doing all of these little bars the hard way. All right, let's come in here and start filling in this tower. And 
get another one of these. And two more of these. And then some more of these. Yeah, I think this is coming along nicely so far. Yeah, I think this is coming along. I am not sure yet what the purpose of all of these uh, bits is. Oh, you know what? They might be uh, setting up as pins to put some side detailing on. I'm not concerned about time tonight, so even though we're probably going to run over two hours with this model, I may still decide to go into the other model. Having not streamed for a whole week, I really want to get some content going. But we'll make that decision when we see what time it is when this one is done. Oh, I could have just built this whole section right on. I mean, it builds right on top. That's all right. Let's get this onto the model. All right, so now we have to change the nature of this face. We need to start putting shapes in. That's not the piece I chose. Oh, I see what it's doing here. And then we have to come back to the top of the tower here. Come back to our little wedge things.
oh, this hotel was built to resemble a uh, uh, the sail of a ship. That's actually quite interesting. They have some clever architects in Dubai, that's for sure. This is supposed to just overhang, it looks like. And then these two bricks are supposed to be at an angle. So I got to do this. Uh, what are we doing here? All right, we got to go back down to the base level, it looks like. And we're going into a repetitive section right now. 16 of these. And how do these attach? So these attach onto the bottom like this. This is an interesting tower, that's for sure. Why is one slightly shorter than the other? They're not they're not synced up at the bottom, I don't think. These two are supposed to be even. All right. Clearly, the one on the right has a gap in it somewhere. So let's pull everything down a little more carefully until things line up. Now they look more even. Okay. And then it says I'm supposed to take two of these pieces up top and just line them up with the tops of the towers. And looking through this, there are going to be flex pieces on this building. But I think they're fairly straightforward. We may be able to to position them. We'll see what when we get there. Okay, so we need everything up here to line up. So first we need that. Then we need this piece. And then we need, I don't know, 
hold on, my glasses are bugging up. I need to be able to see what I'm doing. Oh no. Oh, please don't. Okay. It's doing something evil. This is going to take some time. This part would not be evil with actual physical Legos, though. It's actually fairly straightforward. And then over here, on this side of the tower, we'll add five more of these. And then we're just going to start positioning these guys. So starting with So starting with the one down here. So it looks like we're just going to line these up against each other, like so. has to line up underneath like that. And then this piece lines up here. And rotates down below that one. And then this piece will come up here. Architect, the architecture series never disappoints when it comes to weird building techniques. This is actually kind of fun once you think about it. And I'm not sure exactly which angle this one is at, but we'll put it there. And you know what I'm going to do. I'm going to cheat big time because I know that the other bits are lined up exactly the same way. So one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. We're going to take this whole insane not insaneness and oops, we took an incorrect piece. We did not do that correctly. There, now we've got all the correct parts. We're going to come around, we're going to flip it and then come around to this side. And we did not flip, flip it. Oh, we don't need to flip it. Let's. Now we should be able to line it up. It 
it's okay. We're not going to worry if I push them a little too far into the building for the render. What matters is we got through that insane step. Now, let's get these bits lined up. Let's get this up. And then I need these go, these plug in with those like this. And then we come down here. Let's come over here and get this piece into place. And this is where we're going to start playing with the hoses. We need to see if we can make it go from there to there. Wow, we actually got it to connect. Now let's see if we can uh, straighten out that shape a little bit. Yay. OK. Uh, yeah. We don't want to bulge out to the side, though. That's a thing. I lost my connection. Let's bring it in a bit if I can so that we're not bulging out to the side. Okay, I guess a little bit can't be helped. It's not perfect, but it's good enough for what we're doing here. Let's move on to the other side. So we connect up the hose. And then we go into, we take the hose into flex mode. We grab the tip. 
and I turn the tip so it can go into here. It looks like the rest of the hose is settling into shape. It looks like it only wants to take that little bit of a shape. You know what? We're, we're good enough. I don't want to fight with the hoses too much. It's a nice approximation of the correct shape. And now we come up here and we have to add the antenna. That all skyscraper, almost all skyscraper buildings in the architecture series have at the top. Almost all of the skyscrapers have an antenna, antenna piece at the top. Have you noticed that so far? Anyway. So let's keep going. So let's keep going. Okay, we're at an hour and a half and we haven't even started the biggest tower yet. All right, so. Ah, tower's ready to go. The tower is finally ready to be placed on the structure. That this was an interesting build for sure. Let's see if we can get that. That lined up nicely. And we turn off collision. Our Dubai is looking good so far as we go into our final bag here. So we're going to do a quick save here. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to go right into the Burj Khalifa. Probably the most famous building in Dubai. It looks like we're using a lot of these uh, water pieces to be windows. I call them water pieces, but yeah. What the heck? How did I lose that other piece? How did I didn't move that there? All right. Yeah, it looks like the other two pieces are still in position. But I didn't move that piece off. We're going to keep building. And when we're done building, we're going to build some more until everything is done. And this this model really hasn't given us any of the one uh, any of the two x three x kind of build stuff, so we couldn't even accelerate this model properly.
So it looks like this building has a lot of windows in it. There's actually a full-sized architecture series model of this building as well. I have not yet done it. If I do it, it's probably going to be off stream. I've been doing a lot of models off stream. Almost daily, in fact. We uh, lagged up for a bit there. Ah, here's here's a three here's a three times. Let's take full advantage of it because Dubai's gone on a lot longer than I was planning for it to. not the piece I selected. Wow, this tower is really going up fast. Wrong color. This is the piece we wanted to put right there. Okay, what's going on here? Okay. All right. Um, time for some Technic pieces, it looks like. All right, why do we have collision going on? What happened here? All right, we're gonna take this one layer at a time till we see what didn't line up properly. On the other, on the other models we did, the collision is excusable or even unavoidable because of the physics of the engine. But here, this means something at its, this, this means something did not line up properly. So here, the collision is not the engine's fault but rather the builder's fault. All right. We fixed that problem. Let's come back to this section over here.
and then I need these two pieces. One goes at the top of this axle. And you know what? In order to make sure everything lines up properly, I'm going to put this section on as is. And then I'm going to drag in the other one. Obviously, real life physics means you can't do it that way in real life. But on the computer, you can do some magical things. Oof. Okay. Looks like we're building another segment of tower. Here we go in for that repetitive bit again. It didn't eat my piece to the other side of the board again, which is which is good. It looks like we're in for like 30 pages of just putting in Burj Khalifa windows. I mean, because literally that's all we have left on this model is the Burj Khalifa which we're building right now, and there's like 30 pages of instructions left. I wouldn't doubt we're just going to be doing windows for the next 30 pages like this. Happens sometimes in skyscrapers. No wrong. No, that's right. Wait. No, yeah, we're right. My brain was misinterpreting the fact that there's two different grays here. Here's a time it's going to let us take advantage of 3x. This, this tower just keeps going and going. It is the tallest building on Earth right now, so it makes sense. And here we go with another repetitive bit. Bare. Uh. All right, and we do that again. There we go.
Okay, why isn't it letting me move this? So I select this unit, and it's lagging big time when I try to move this. So we're going to take this over here. And this is supposed to, if it will let me drag this, why isn't it letting me? All right. All right, so we've got another side of the base unit. Uh, what does that mean? Yep, time for some more windows. All right, let's keep the window party going. All right, there's not a lot of parts selected in this section. Why is this section lagging? All right, we're going to flip you over. And then I'm going to come over here and grab the next piece I need. All right, that'll settle it. All right, we're just going to have to keep going until it's done because this happens to be a big building. And I'm going to make I'm I'm going to I'm going to call it. I'm going to go ahead and say we are definitely not doing the second city today because we're already pushing almost two hours. It's after one o'clock in the morning. And uh, so yeah, Dubai is going to have to be by itself. This is a lot of window pieces.
Yeah, I'm actually having trouble staying awake right now. We're not doing any bonuses today. This is going to be the end of stream once we finish building the Burj Khalifa. I was really looking forward to doing a double, but I was I was actually planning to. So I'll figure out what which city is best to pair with the other city I had planned for today. But meanwhile, we're going to not keep it in the list since I'm not using it. Um, tomorrow I want to stream something other than Lego if I can. All right, so now we get to take this section, line it up, and bring this onto Okay, why was I getting collision errors from the Technic bricks on here? Okay, that actually looks pretty good so far. You can see there's a slight asymmetry going on. You bet I'm going to take full advantage of this uh, 3x that it just put in front of me. How do these line up? Okay, so these make a little nice little footprint for the tower, and I think that hole goes into that that axle in the middle sticking out the bottom will go into that hole in the wheels that we set out. I think that's how everything lines up on the base, but I guess we'll find out soon enough. Okay, don't know why you don't want to line up. Okay, everything appears to be placed correctly. Did I place those correctly? I hope I placed those correctly. Now, which way was forward? This way. 
Yeah, that was right. Looks like the wheels, those wheels become the base of this section. So the axle that we have sticking out the bottom of the tower needs to come into the hole here. Let's make sure that we're flush with the ground. We are not. We are not flush with the ground. That means the tower needs to drag down even more. Usually what I find with axles, I have to get really up close and personal with them in order to get everything to line up properly. But as, as long as the building looks like it's touching the ground, there's a very slight gap going on. Can I get to the axle from here? Barely. So with that, we just pulled everything back off the ground. If there's any, you know what, I'm going to click off and pray that there's no gapping. We do appear to be lined up with the ground now, at least for purposes of the render, if we're close enough to the ground. All right. But we still got another section of the tower to go. Oh boy, some more window pieces. It seems to want to jump around a lot. I'm trying to line it up. It looks like the engine's getting tired too. It's a good thing we're almost done with this build. But there we go.
There we go. Some more of these. One of these. The city that I was thinking about doing as the second <clears throat> is one I definitely want to do as part of a two-parter. So I have to decide what other city we haven't done yet pairs well with it. See, there's 13 cities total. And I don't want to end up with unlucky number 13. So there's 13 cities total. So if I want to avoid doing 13 episodes, then I'm going to have to do a double at one point in the series. I hope I'm doing this right. The instructions aren't very clear right now on this step. Oh, it's giving me a two times, thankfully. I don't know why it doesn't want to line up. All right, we just got to keep adding more and more windows until this is finally done. This is an epic building, I will, I'll give it that. And so now this part of the building gets to come on to uh, what we've already put up over here. It looks like this whole section lines up on these pl round plates like that. 
That's not where I clicked. See, I had them lined up, and when I clicked, it jumped the position on me. I don't know why it's having so much trouble lining up when there's an obvious position it's supposed to be in. There we go. <coughs> there's more tower? Okay. That Even that's not the top of the tower. This building just keeps going. That is the last of the two by ones, though, which means we've got to be almost done. Luckily, there is a 2x here. Our parts bin is quickly running out of pieces, though, which means we are almost done with the build. The grays are not matching up right now. Oh, that step was supposed to be in the darks, wasn't it? Ah, who cares? Uh, light gray, dark gray, they're all running the same to me right now. I'm getting tired. Let's just press on and get this finished because I don't got much left. Let's let's try doing that. At least that might look a little bit better. So many window tiles.
It looks like we're quickly approaching the top of the tower, finally. Yeah, it's just about 2 o'clock in the morning. We're calling it when we get to the top of this tower. Alright, and then this whole bit... Thumbs up. Uh, I don't think we have that section angled correctly. Yeah, very tiny footprint. We'll be able to grab that no problem. Let's bring this in a little bit tighter. I need that to be at an, at an exact 270 so that I can take this whole section and stick it right on top like that. And you know what? That gap isn't even noticeable once we turn this and we turn off collision. So you can see those other bits that didn't quite line up properly in the engine. Yeah, look how, look how far zoomed out I'll have to do the render for this one just because of how insanely tall that one tower is. Could try doing a... Who cares if we, top, if we cut off the very top of the antenna? Let's line this up for the render. Yeah. All right, we're over two hours. Yeah, we're calling it here. Let's save. Let's clear the palette because we finished the model. And let's see, uh, there's still a few musicians on right now. Who's getting my raid today? All right, um, we're going to raid Lyrical Leia tonight. Uh, she has a good show. Haven't seen her in a while. I mean, I haven't been to her show in a while, so it's her turn tonight. So let's go enjoy some good music, get some sleep, enjoy the rest of your holiday weekend, and have a good night.
for the raid. Welcome in. 